The French West India Company French, Compagnie Française des Indies Occidentales was a French trading company founded in 1664 by Jean-Baptiste Colbert and dissolved in 1674. The company received the French possessions of the Atlantic coasts of Africa and America, and was granted a monopoly on trade with America, which was to last for 40 years. It was supposed to populate Canada, using the profits of the sugar economy that began in Guadeloupe. Its capital was £6 million and its headquarters was in Le Havre. The stock of the company was so considerable, that in less than six months, 45 vessels were equipped, with which they took possession of all the places in their grant, and settled a commerce. In 1674, the grant was revoked, and the various countries reunited to the king's dominions. As before, the king reimbursed the actions of the adventurers. This revocation was owing partly to the poverty of the company, caused by its losses in the wars with the Kingdom of England, which had necessitated it to borrow large sums, and even to alienate its exclusive privilege for the coasts of Guinea, but also to its having in good measure answered its end, which was to recover the commerce of the West Indies from the Dutch, who had taken it away from them. The French merchants being so accustomed to traffic to the Antilles, by permission of the company, were so attached to it, that it was not doubted they would support the commerce after the dissolution of the company. <laughs> Action of the company in New France Canada. In 1665 the company obtained the regiment Carignan Salières to provide security against Iroquois invasion, and contributed to the settlement of the colony, by the arrival of 1200 men from the Dauphiné, Liguria, Piedmont and Savoy. In 1666, Jean Talon organized the first census, counting 3,215 inhabitants. The population of the colony grew to 6,700 inhabitants in 1672, as a result of policies encouraging marriage and fertility. In 1667, several tribes of Iroquois, the Mohawks and Oneidas, agreed to make peace. Charles Aubert de la Chesnay, fur trader in Tadouzac between 1663 and 1666, was appointed general clerk of the company from 1666 to 1669, when he left the company for logging in Lac Saint-Jean, a break and a long stay in La Rochelle, which allows him to establish business relations with several European countries and owning several vessels. Upon his return to Canada Charles Aubert de la Chesnay obtained shortly after the dissolution of the company, from 1675 and until 1681, the rights of the firm of the Company of the West and his friend Jean Odiette, and holding the monopoly of beaver pelts, then Canada's main export. In 1672, Jean Talon granted him, with two other partners, the lordship of Perse to serve as a port for fishing boats. He received the seigneury of Riviere du Lou December 23, 1673. Chesnay also bought half the fiefs of St. Francis and St. John 1677, the lordships of the park, east of Riviere du Loup 1675, and Hare Island 1677. <laughs> Action in the Caribbean Tobacco plantations were highly developed in other French colonies. The company got a monopoly on the slave trade from Senegal, which since 1658 belonged to the Company of Cape Verde and Senegal. 
In 1666 the company created two counters in Dahomey Benin, Savvy and Weta, which bought other tropical products. The company faced the interests of the French settlers in the Caribbean, who were engaged in smuggling with the Dutch. Its commercial monopoly led to the resale price of sugar becoming prohibitive compared to that in its English competitors, Barbados and Jamaica. The sugar planters complained and accused the company of not delivering enough slaves, while the British island of Jamaica imported on a large scale from the early 1670s. Topic: See also Senegal Company, the successor to its territories in West Africa. List of trading companies Charles Bazaire Street. Croy European chartered companies founded around the 17th century in French. <laughs>